The right tone and formula for you should be invisible when your foundation is applied correctly. In this video, I want to show you how to apply a foundation like a pro as I highlight the eight common mistakes that people make when they apply their foundation. To find out more, keep watching. This is how I dance when I know I put my makeup right. <laughs> Hi beautiful people, how are you doing? My name is Priscilla and I'm Karibuni Sana. Hapako channel Rembo Creations. Today I am happy dancing because I know I am about to share with you life changing tips. I mean it. Your foundation game is never going to be the same if you just sit down, watch this video and then follow the things that you watch in this video. I'll be sharing eight, eight, eight things that you need to keep in mind when you're doing your makeup. They're very simple. Yeah, don't be frightened by the number, but you need to keep all these steps in mind in order for your foundation to look flawless. Thank you so much and keep watching. Number one, not prepping your skin. And what do I mean by prepping your skin? Before you do your makeup, you need to apply moisturizer. Like I have a moisturizer here with me. You can use whatever moisturizer that you have. And the reason why you need to apply your moisturizer is because you want your skin to be soft and supple so that by the time you're applying your product, it's just going to blend in and look really, really nice. Especially if you want skin to look very nice and to glow, like your skin to just glow and have that nice look, you have to moisturize. And as you're moisturizing, massage the moisturizer into your skin like this. You know? There. Just make sure that mas that moisturizer gets into your skin properly and all areas. Of course, I've already worked on my eyes, so I'm not going to go over there with the moisturizer because this is a foundation video, but you get the whole idea. And don't leave out the forehead. Massage, massage. Make sure the moisturizer gets into the product. Even when you apply moisturizer on your face, on your skin rather, like the rest of your body, you don't even give them a moisturizer time to get into your skin. It needs to be absorbed into your skin. Massage, pack on a feel your skin is nice and smooth. And even if you're not going to do anything else, you're still good to go like that. But anyway, you get the whole idea. You're going to put your primer. Prepping your skin means moisturizing your skin and it also means priming your skin. Why do you prime? You prime so that you can fill in any fine lines if you have any and pause and even create a nice base, a nice uh, matte base if you have oily skin or normal to oily skin. If you have a normal skin, you can just use a normal primer to give you a nice base and a smooth surface so that when you're applying your product, your product has something to hold on to. The moisturizer is to enable your skin to just be supple enough to get the product in as you also hydrate your skin and moisturize it. But the primer has a different effect. Though we have primers that are moisturizing and by that I mean they will moisturize your skin as they prime at the same time. But this specific one is a matte and polish mattifying primer. So what it does, it fills in pores. So if you have large visible pores, it's going to fill them in so that when you apply your product, your makeup is not going to go inside the pores and give you skin breakouts or stuff like that. Instead, it's going to like seal those pores with a nice product or so the ingredients that are in the primer so that your face is smooth and the surface is so clean so that by the time you're putting your foundation kila kitu iko sour huh. so in the base no na kama venye mtu akipaka rangi lazima aike color white kwanza ndio apake pink so that the pink looks nice and the wall is primed even the walls before they paint them they prep them if they have any cracks they fill them in wanafanya hizo vitu vitu I see what they do and it's just more or less the same thing. You prime your face, prepare it, make sure it's smooth and nice before you can put your product. So that's number one. Prep your skin by using your moisturizer and by priming. Number two is to make sure that you use a foundation that is your right shade. For example, if this is my foundation, it needs to blend my face, my ears, and my neck. I've already done another video on how to identify your right foundation shade, so you can go and watch that video. I'm going to jump right to number three. 
Number three, mix in the right formulations. Yes, mix the right formulations. What I mean is, if this is the foundation you're going to use and you have maybe an even skin tone for one reason or the other, you find that some people are white or light over here and they are dark around the forehead or different places on the face have different colors, it means that your skin is not even. So what you do, you might find that using different foundation shades might work for you, like a lighter shade for the lighter areas and then blend it with the darker shades. Though this these shades are usually not so far apart they may caribbean at all so if you have two shades mix the same formulation i prefer to like this ones you can see these ones here these are the same products but one is three it's the same product one is 336 the other one is 340 so mixing this is safe this uh, i want to show you this too as well comparison you see like this is a zaron brown skin and this is a maybelline fit me and this is a medium to full coverage this one here is a medium to full coverage and this is also a medium to full coverage all of them are matte you know they all give you a matte uh, finish so they are this exact <laughs> so the formulation so the formulation is the same don't mix like a cream to powder and a liquid foundation or a stick foundation and a cream you know foundation they're not going to blend it very well and most importantly if you have a water-based foundation and an oil-based foundation those two cannot mix like a liquid foundation most of them are water-based mixing it with a cream to powder foundation which usually is an oil-based foundation will not blending so your makeup is going to be cakey it's going to be having some parts patches here and there and you don't want that so if you're going to mix your foundations mix them right sometimes i see people have everything right you've prepped your skin you have the right shade in fact if you have two or more you have everything right but then it still doesn't look good because when you're applying you're using the wrong tools the wrong tools will always give you a finish that is not so smooth so this is a beauty blender i use this uh, so many times i like it it gives me a nice smooth finish this here is a foundation brush as you can see it's a bit small it looks a bit uh, dirty it has a foundation because i used it earlier and anytime i use this you know to apply the product i like it because it can it can cover small surfaces at a time and it can go to corners for example if i want to work under the eyes etc it works but sometimes depending on the formulation i use it will not give me clear line like a clean finish it might leave some strokes so i prefer to go over with a blender to just clean that out or just forget about it and use a blender ah yeah there's also this brush this brush is used for powder you can see it has some powder because of course i have used it today uh i used you can see it has some powder because i used it earlier this is not a foundation brush i know we substitute sometimes you'd find that a brush like this for example, I can use it to do my foundation. It's small, it works, it can pick a product and it does a good job. But then this one is very big. It's going to waste my product. It's not going to give me a small finish. So be careful with the products that you use. This is also a wedge. It's like a sponge, see? It looks like that. This is also something that you can use to apply your product. So use the right things to put your makeup on. Like the, use the right tools to apply your foundation. My favorite is a blender or a foundation brush, but the blender is like this, uh, it works magic for me. Well, you're not, okay. Well, you're not to me anger, uh, me kono kupaka foundation, like to blend the product in. I would say sometimes it works depending on how you do. If you're slow and you just make sure you take time to pat the product into your skin nicely, maybe, but it will not give you a really nice, perfect finish, in my opinion. You know, I really don't find it, like I have used my hands to apply foundation once or twice, but then it will not give me a smooth finish. So I still go back to my beauty blender or my brush, sometimes, or this, I mean, either or. So use the right tools. Now I'm going to apply my product. How do we do it? You take your foundation because the other step is applying the product correctly. You could be having the right tools, you have the right product, you have everything, but you're not doing it right. Take a bit of your product, you can put it directly on your skin or you can put it on your blender and make sure your blender is a bit soaked, but it should not be dripping. It's soaked, it's a bit wet, but it's not dripping. Start with the areas around, uh, you know, like all around the cheeks and the chin. Kando, kando, kando. 
And you see, I'm patting, making sure that it goes in nicely. Mm -hmm. Like that. For your lips, do this because you need that cut definition when you apply when you apply your lipstick if you have a bit of product around the lips it helps the lipstick to just look so much better take your sponge <laughs> someone told me if you want to sing well well that someone is my husband it's like some people sing like this <laughs> so every time i do this i remember ah, anyway so blend 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 make sure you're blending everywhere so that your neck and your face and your ears look the same and that's the other point as you're applying your product you apply around your cheeks your forehead and the forehead don't put too much product yeah one cadot should be enough i'm intentional about making sure i have my own hair in this video so that you can see how the product should be blending with the rest of your with your hairline so that you can see how the product should blend with your hairline it should just be seamless like everything should be the same you see so make sure everything is okay so i have one nice shade this is a medium coverage foundation so i'm i'm okay if i can still see uh, some spots like i usually have a dark something over here it's not a spot is that something that is there? I can see it. I can still see some of my two pimples. They're very tiny, but I can see them. And that's okay because this is a medium coverage. Now, because I usually don't like a flat, just a flat look on the face, I'll go over with my lighter foundation when I don't want to do, you know, a lot of makeup and work with it under my eyes. This is just to brighten my eyes a bit. Like that. Notice the complexions are so close. Do the same here. It's sort of like contouring, but very subtly. Like kidogo kabisa. And also if you have an even skin, it uh, and also if you have an even skin tone, this is what you should be doing. And you see why I like the like sponge. Inengia kila mahali. Mpaka hapo chinia macho vizuri. So I can blend the product nicely. Blend, 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 blend. Blending is key. So, to me pick a number. I hope someone is counting. Well, I will do the countdown. <laughs> well, you can see. So, apply the product from this area. Move outwards. This is with your like normal foundation shade. Blend the neck and the ears. Make sure that every area of your skin is seamless. If you have like two studs, you have to wipe them after because they're going to have some foundation on them and yeah should be good to go if you're going to use a lighter product uh, under the eyes do it and then just blend nicely and this is just foundation nothing else the other thing that is very important when you're applying your foundation is the powder we have pigmented powders and pigmented powders are the powders that have pigment if you pick a powder that has uh, like the exact same complexion as your foundation it's going to make your whole look be a bit darker than it's supposed to be so when you're picking your powders i always recommend you go for a shade lighter one shade lighter than your complexion so that your foundation doesn't become darker yeah i so i recommend that when you're picking your pigmented powder you work with a powder that is one shade lighter that way it doesn't darken your overall look because if you apply the exact same shade then you're going to look darker than you're supposed to do if you don't want to work with pigmented powders you can use a setting powder it has no color so what it's going to do is it's going to set your makeup properly and it's going to prevent shine because you have to put powder it's very important that you put powder so that you can set your makeup further and you can also prevent your face from shine so again i use two products i have this thing i don't know how to use just one thing so i have two powders over here you can see them i bought two shades this is one this one is slightly lighter than this they are all by zaron and the shades one is ray and one is biscuit ray is the lighter one so the same way i put the lighter product under my eye and it was just slightly lighter i will still go over with the same um product ray using my cup blender and apply under my eyes i can also do the same for my bridge the bridge of the nose 
my chin and the center over here these are the areas that i want to be highlighted a bit this is because i don't like to have like a flat you know look on my entire face and then i'm going to take the biscuit yeah this is biscuit the darker powder and apply this to the rest of the face i can use my blender or i can take a brush either will work so this one is not going under my eyes i'm trying to just work on this area next to the bridge of the nose half a candle key dog and then apply so the other mistake that people do is apply the foundation and then you leave it like that you don't put your powder or you put your powder and you put a shade that will darken your foundation further so zingatia <laughs> yeah pick the right powders or just use a translucent powder and you'll be good to go but don't skip applying powder and you put powder after foundation not before after your foundation because it's going to help set your makeup and it's also going to prevent shine and if you don't even want to put foundation i mean if you don't want to you can just use powder and you'll be good to go like a full coverage powder pack a moisturizer uh prime your face take your powder apply it and you'll be good to go but since this is a foundation video i want you to put foundation and put it nicely so you notice I'm really blending. <laughs> makeup has no shortcut. Makeup and blending and blending and makeup is one and the same thing. Like you really have to love blending. And you don't forget about your two ears. And everything else. Aha, 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 aha. There. And last but not least, don't forget to set your makeup. Take your setting spray and set your makeup. Naturally, your makeup would still set even if you don't use a setting spray, but it will take longer because you want all the products that you apply to just get into the skin and look nice and the skin to glow and look so fresh and natural. Remember, we put the moisturizer at the beginning, we prepped our skin so that it can take all the products and now we're going to use this to sort of just lock in everything so there and every time when you're putting your setting spray you hold it a few inches away from the face and then spray all around make sure it has touched all the areas good thing you can always feel if it doesn't touch all the areas it's very easy to tell because you will just feel hapa, hapa. yeah set the makeup use the scented spray Use your setting spray to set your makeup and you can do this two, three times depending on the coverage that you've used. But since I've used a medium uh, coverage foundation, I don't need to like do around two of the same. Those are the key things that you need to keep in mind as long as foundation application is concerned. And I'm done. I'll leave it at that. I just want to do my lips. it should blend with the neck and the ears and if there's anything that's not blending take your like sponge and blend further until you are comfortable i really like this i feel like it's the right complexion everything looks nice my face is not as flat i've not put my highlighter or anything and i love it ladies and gentlemen that is how you apply foundation correctly and those are the key things that people miss out on or the key things that you should be doing to get your foundation looking flawless thank you so much for watching this channel if you like the content please subscribe bye bye